Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Jane's Blog. And if you have liked the videos that I've done so far, please remember to subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up if the videos are good. And also please remember to hit the notification bell so that you will be the first to be notified whenever I have a new video uploaded. So as you can see from the title of this video, we will be unboxing and reviewing the new Tudor, my new Tudor Black Bay GMT which was purchased recently. So before we get on with the unboxing, let's do a wristwatch check. I put on today my Rolex Yardmaster reference 116622. So without further ado, let's get on with the unboxing. As usual, the box comes with the outer box, the inner box. So um, the material used is the same as the Tudor Black Bay uh, 58 that I have. Uh, very nice material. And you have also the inner box where the watch is actually sitting in. So opening up the box, you will see the watch per se and Beneath the watch, you will find the operating menus and also the new warranty card from Tudor. So if you can look at the purchase date, the watch was uh, purchased in um, July of this year. And at the compartment behind, you will find the hand tag uh, of this particular piece and also the uh, extra link that was taken off after sizing the watch to my wrist. So now, let's have a view round the watch itself. So this uh, spectacular watch, uh, the very outstanding feature is its uh, bezel with the blue side uh, represent the night timing and also the red side of the bezel represent the day timing which is similar to the Pepsi, uh, Rolex Pepsi GMT. The dial of the watch is actually matte black and you can see that the hour indices, the hour hand, mini hand, second hands and the uh, GMT hand all has this uh, white super luminova and the GMT hand itself is actually red in color as well. So as you can see the watch is actually a high polish on the side of the case and uh, brush on the top and at the 3 o'clock position is the crown with the Tudor Rose logo on it. And the bracelet of the watch are actually solid and links uh, with the riveted style at the side of the links. And uh, it has this uh, deployment class with the safety lock device. So the folding claps is high polish internally with no easy link adjustment with three micro position and it has this ball bearing which uh, have a very satisfying click sound to it. And the bezel of the watch is made of stainless steel with this uh, blue and red aluminium insert and a 60 minute gradual disc. Let's take a listen. Now, let's take some measurement of the watch. Case size of the watch is 41mm across.
bezel diameter measures around 41mm as well. Case thickness including the sapphire glass is about 14.5mm. Lug to lug width is a tad below 50mm. Lug width is around 22mm. Tapering down to about 18mm at the edge of the claps. Width of the deployment claps is at 20mm. So now let us look at how to set the watch and its GMT function. In order to do that, first you have to unscrew the crown. Once you unscrew the crown, you will feel that it will spring out and that is the position where you will wind the watch by turning it clockwise. With the crown in its first position, you will be able to adjust the jumping hour in relation to the red GMT hand and also the date as well. Once the crown is in the second position, the second hands will be hacked and you will be able to adjust the time. Once you set your time, please remember to push back the crown and screw it in, otherwise you're going to lose the 200 meter of water resistance. So now it's time to put the watch on my wrist and see how it fares. So this is how the watch sits on my 6.5 inch wrist. It's not really exactly overbearing, no doubt the lug to lug is almost 50mm. And let's take a close up shot of the watch as well. The case height is um, relatively high, but that's about it. Very nice and comfortable watch to wear, put on. So I have to say I'm very fortunate to be able to add this piece new into my collection and also build up this very uh, good and trustable relationship with the AD. And here is the loom shot of the watch. The Super Nubilova is quite lasting and I actually like it a lot. So guys, now we have come to the end of the video and if you like it, please remember to subscribe to my channel and also to give it a thumbs up if you like the video that I have made. And do remember, remember to hit the notification bell so that you will be the first to be notified whenever I have a new video uploaded. So stay safe, stay healthy and we shall meet again guys cheers